My name is James Clark from Biofell Water. This is a very short instruction video on the installation of a multi-tank Biofell Quick One sewage treatment plant. As you can see behind me, uh, any multi-tank system has a minimum of two tanks. So for this particular system, there are two tanks in it. Tank number one here to my left and tank number two to my right. The tanks are manufactured from high density polyethylene and they are extremely corrugated and ribbed which gives them huge strength. The Biocell Quick One is the only waste water treatment plant on the market but it also has stainless steel reinforcement internally so the tanks are borderline indestructible. From an installation viewpoint you obviously need to prepare your excavation with a level base ideally with a bit of rounded pea gravel or 804. The surround to go around the tanks on backfilling Again, you want to use a rounded pea gravel or shingle or 804 or sand. You don't want to use any large, sharp, angular gravel and you don't want to use the soil that you've excavated on site. You can put a concrete backfill or a lean mix backfill around the tank if you wish, but it's not necessary. The only time it may be necessary is if your site has a very high water table. But on any site with a very high water table, our advice would be to consult your engineer prior to the installation. So tank one to my left, tank two to my right. The inlet to tank number one, which is just around here, is a four inch or 110 millimeter push fitting. So very straightforward. You just connect your four inch sewer pipe straight into the tank. Then uh, when you are connecting tank number one and tank number two, there are three connection points on the tank. One up high, one in the middle, one down low. They may not be terribly apparent in the video, but they're on the center part of the tank. One, two, three. Connecting them is a piece of cake. You just use four inch or 110 mil PVC pipe work. So the same pipe work you would use in the sewers around your house. In the very top connection, there is a piece of braided air hose. Um, so what you need to do before you make the connection um, on the top part is you literally, there's a, a hole sail on this piece of braided air hose here, and you just connect this to the end of this air hose here, and you fasten it to make sure it's tight by using the stainless steel hose clips that we supply. So very straightforward. Four inch sewer pipe or 110 mil sewer pipe connecting at the top with this air hose running through the sewer pipe internally. Connection in the middle, four inch sewer pipe. Connection at the bottom, four inch sewer pipe. On the outlet side of tank number two, again, it's a four inch push fitting. So very, very simple. Tank number one and tank number two are clearly marked, and the inlets and the outlets are also very clearly marked. So you cannot make a mistake. The manhole on tank number one just has a pedestrian duty manhole cover on it. The manhole opening on tank number two has a housing which is actually sitting in this section of pipe and this housing contains your air blower and your controls. So it's a secure watertight housing. Um, there is a gland in the tank which isn't visible just here. So the power supply um, is brought over to the tank, fed in the gland and then there is another gland on the bottom of the watertight housing and your power supply comes up through that and your, electric, uh, your electrician then will have to make the electrical connection. Um, you obviously need to leave a little bit of cable if you can to facilitate removal of the housing um, down the line for maintenance. So the system is very, very simple. Two tanks connected together at three points and in the top connection you also have a braided air hose which needs to be joined. So it's a very simple system really. For a deep installation, if you need a riser kit, just contact us depending on your location, North of Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales or Republic of Ireland and we will send out a riser kit to whatever depth is necessary. I hope this video was of assistance. It's just a short installation video just explaining how to do the connections when installing the tank. If you have any other queries whatsoever, please contact your distributor, your agent, or alternatively, email us at sales at biocellwater.com. 
or contact your local direct sales office. Thank you.